In this video, I'm going to show you how you can not only book, reschedule, and cancel bookings on Google Calendar, but check availability seamlessly without any issue. I'll be showing you a live demo call where it seamlessly books my appointment. By the end of this video, you should be able to do anything you like on Google Calendar. So if you've been struggling to check availability and book appointments, check out my free school community, the AI Avengers down below for this free N8N template. And if you want an AI agent like this built out for you, book a discovery call with me down below. So without further ado, let's get started. Thanks to the AI agent feature on N8N, it's now easier than ever to book appointments on N8N. So uh, how uh, people used to uh, book appointments on make.com or N8N in the past was uh, they had to do a workflow like this. So uh, the problem with workflows is that it's very rigid and it has to follow this exact path. And if it doesn't or something breaks, then yeah, the entire thing broke. So what normally happens, so this was pretty common with make was uh, you have to check availability and then you have to create the event or you could try create the event. So book the appointment and if it wasn't available, then you would have to like check availability and then like return list of available times to the lead that was calling or texting. This is working. So you might think why is this was a problem, but if you check this, well, um, you can see that uh, in order to check the um, availability, you have to decide both the start date and the end date. And the problem with this is that um, even though like start time is now, like um, end date can vary. So somebody, they might not be available for like the next two weeks. Some people, they might want to only like uh, book within like the next three days. Some people, they're only available after three days and um, before seven days, something like that. So. There were so many variables, so it was really hard to do this um, in a consistent manner. But AI agents, they made it much more easier. So um, here is uh, the AI agent that um, does everything on Google Calendar, whether it's um, like reschedule a booking or cancel a booking or uh, get a booking so you can uh, update and cancel it. So what an AI agent is, is uh, basically it's like um, an employee, but it's AI that um, is autonomous. So it uh, takes in the input and then it decides um, how to carry out the task that it's given. So it thinks on its own. So you don't have to like babysit it. You don't have to like hard code anything. So like, yeah, it doesn't have to follow like a strict workflow. So you're basically just giving it the keys to um, do its task. So um, yeah, I'll like show you the AI agent. So you have to first uh, prompt the AI agent, right? So yeah, it's just like, prompting ChatGPT or prompting your AI voice agent, which um, yeah, if you haven't checked out my video yet, check out my prompt engineering guide up here. So anyways, I'll just go over uh, this prompt quickly. So role, yeah, you're an AI scheduling assistant. Um, yeah, your job is to do this and that. So, yep. Uh, and then, yeah, you have to um, list the tools that it has available. So yeah, uh, book an appointment, get appointment, update, cancel, check availability. And yeah, they're the name of all the tools that um, I provided here. So um, it has access to all these tools. So just think of it as like different keys that it has access to like different passwords. And then yeah, it needs a chat model to operate. So it's powered by um, like Google Gemini 2.0 flash. So I found this to be uh, very effective and uh, also like cost friendly as well. So I've been using a lot of Gemini lately and um, yeah, these are all the different tools. But anyways, I'll go back to the prompt itself. So yeah, list the tools, explain them. And then um, yeah, these are the variables. So the input that will be provided by retail. And um, yeah, this will all be in the template anyways, but I'll just quickly go over it to help you understand. So here is action. So the AI agent is going to look at the action input and decide what it's going to do. If it's going to book an appointment, reschedule an appointment, check availability or cancel an appointment. And then there is booking time. So the desired um, time for the lead to book or in the case that they're rescheduling or canceling an appointment, they need to yeah, provide the time that they originally booked for so they can reschedule or cancel it. And then there's reschedule time. So yeah, it's only gonna be here if they want to reschedule the appointment. And then there's availability time. So this is in case that they only want to check the availability and yeah, I provided a context. So yeah, in order for the AI agent to recognize the inputs, you have to put them in here. So like retail, like it puts all the variables, all the inputs inside um, JSON body arcs. So yeah, these are the dynamic variables. So 
yeah, um, this is just basically explaining to the AI agent what they actually want. So just like telling them all of this uh, won't do anything. You have to actually provide the dynamic variables of the inputs. And then I provided them the leads name so they can uh, provide the name, email, phone number. And then there are the instructions here. So under instructions, I provided a clear instructions of how to carry out its tasks in the four different scenarios. So if they want to check availability, then yeah, run the tool for the provided availability time. If they want to book an appointment, use a check availability tool to check if the booking time is available. And if it is, use the booking time tool to book an appointment. And yeah, same thing with uh, like action is cancel. And if they want to reschedule, then yeah, same thing. Just list out the steps that it needs to do. So this will help the AI agent understand. And like I said, the better quality prompts that you have, the better outputs and the more reliable that the AI agent will be. And then yeah, output. So like this isn't like 100% necessary per se, but I just put it in because I just want my prompts to be really good. And I just want like the maximum possible like effectiveness and reliability basically. So yeah. And then yeah, providing examples as well. Providing examples is essential for AI agents. So it understands what it's doing and what kind of output that it should provide and how to carry out its tasks basically. And then tone. Well, this is kind of an unnecessary. I don't know why I put it in here, but anyways, yeah, here and notes. So yeah, this is something that, yeah, you need to put in if there's like, you know, like other notes or things to take note of. So for example, like time zones, I'm based in Australia. So I told it that all time zones are in Australia, Sydney times. If you're booking clients from like overseas, then yeah, you need to yeah, have a, a time zone variable in here and also state it here as well to make bookings based on the time zone and to convert time zones as well. And then yeah, booking times are 30 minutes, I'm checking availability and then um, a guardrail here. So like, yeah, don't modify or cancel an appointment unless you're absolutely sure that it is in case like, yeah, it might make mistakes. So yeah, it's just like um, another thing, you know, just to be safe. So yeah, that's it for the prompt. And then uh, we'll just have a quick look at the tools. So update appointment, this is just for rescheduling. This is all done for you, but yeah, event ID, just leave it as it is. The AI will uh, look up the event ID and then it will decide on its own. AI, it's not that stupid. You don't need to babysit the AI basically. So yep, that's it for update and then cancel an appointment, same thing here, and then get appointment. So. Yeah, what you want to do is like, yeah, just leave it as it is. But basically what the AI is doing is just looking for the appointment at the given time. So in this case, the booking time, you could technically like, yeah, hard code it in here. So yeah, you could put like, like, I'll, sh I'll just show you. So Jason body arcs booking time. You could put this in here like this if you like, but you know, I just let the AI do it and yeah, it's smart enough to figure it out and then book appointment. So yeah, well, it's the same thing, but yeah, what you want to do is you do want to add some other things here as well. So like add attendees, so it's going to add their information, like the email in here, add description, and then you can add other fields as well, such as like, um, yeah, location. And in case it's going to be like a weekly thing, then yeah, you could um, do something like uh, repeat frequency. And in this case, well, yeah, it's yeah, AI doesn't decide it. You have to like, yeah, decide it yourself. And then there is like repeat how many times until, yep. So yeah, this is up for you to customize. It's just a template for you to work on. Let's check it out in the school community, the AI Avengers down below. So yeah, check availability. So now this is what makes AI agents so much more convenient because the AI can decide what the start and end time is based on the message that it receives. So yeah, this is um, really nice and convenient. So yeah, and then yeah, that's basically it for the uh, rundown of the AI agent. And then here we are. So we are here on retail. So I made a quick uh, voice agent for a receptionist for a dentist. So yeah, I might make a video about this soon. But anyways, this is just a quick sample for uh, this video. So uh, I added in a functions here. So appointment. I just named it appointment. So I just describe it, use this function to check availability. Yep. And the URL. So what you want to do here is you want to go to um, here and then press um, webhook. 
and then go to production URL, copy this, and then yeah, paste it in here. And then you want to uh, copy and paste um, this parameter over here. So J this is um, like JSON schema of the parameter, so the inputs. So um, yeah, just I have this in my school community as well. So yeah, just, uh, just copy and paste from there. But yeah, anyways, here I'm just describing what each uh, input variable is and like the data type and the description. So um, like, yeah, for example, phone number of the person for the appointment. So it has to be in um, E164 format, by the way. So yeah, E164 format, it's basically like um, including the country code. So like, for example, plus one for US, Canada, plus six one for Australia, plus 44 for UK, reschedule time. So yeah, I ISO 8601. So yeah, just put this in so the AI knows to format uh, the reschedule time. The name, action, so yeah. So you don't want it to have any other variable um, like uh, like you don't want it to have any other uh, value here, so you have to put enum here, enum bracket, and then uh, list the uh, possible value. So in this case, book, cancel, reschedule, check availability, and then booking time, yep, uh, format in Australia, Sydney time zone. Um, yeah, and if you want to uh, make like um, international bookings or like different time zones, then yeah, just uh, copy this and then yeah, put it in here. Um, just yeah, copy and paste it time zone like okay so I'll just quickly do this for you actually time zone of the caller um, e.g. Australia uh, Sydney or it could be um, or America new underscore York and then yeah email like availability time and required you have to put all the required variables in here so in this case you have to put action booking time name email phone and then yep click update so yep that's basically it so yeah i'm not going to go over my prompt for this one i'll still uh, show you a demo of it in action hi this is harmony dental group you are speaking with clara how can i help you today uh hi clara i'd like to make an uh, appointment please for a regular checkup my name is james bond my email is james at gmail.com and my phone number is one two three four five six seven eight nine Thank you, James. Just to confirm, you would like to make an appointment for a regular checkup. Is that correct? Yes, also, may I know correct. if you're a new patient or have you visited Harmony Dental Group before? Um, so yeah, I'm a new patient. Great, James. As a new patient, I will help you schedule your regular checkup appointment. Could you please let me know your preferred date and time for the appointment? Could you please uh, book me an appointment for uh, Friday, uh, May 23rd at 12.30 p.m.? Checking availability for requested appointment time. The time slot on Friday, May 23rd at 12.30 p.m. is available. Your appointment for a regular checkup has been successfully booked for Friday, May 23rd at 12.30 p.m. Is there anything else I can assist you with today, James? Um, sorry, um, I just realized that I have something on at the time, so could you please reschedule to uh, 3.30 p.m., please? No problem, James. I will check the availability for Friday May 23rd at 3.30 p.m. and reschedule your appointment if available. One moment, please. Your appointment has been rescheduled from Friday, May 23rd at 12.30 p.m. to Friday, May 23rd at 3.30 p.m. Is there anything else I can assist you with today, James? Um, I'm sorry, but could you please cancel that appointment? Certainly, James. I will proceed to cancel your appointment on Friday, May 23rd at 3.30 p.m. One moment, please. Your appointment on Friday, May 23rd at 3.30 p.m. has been cancelled. So as you can see, it scheduled my appointment at 12.30 and then it rescheduled me to 3.30 and then it cancelled my appointment completely. So as you can see, this AI agent uh, works and um, it can autonomously, so independently decide on its own what to do and it is so much more convenient. So you just need this one simple workflow and um, you're done. You can do anything that you like on Google Calendar. So that was it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Now you should be able to start making bookings and be able to do anything that you like with Google Calendar. I provided this template in my free school community, the AI Avengers down below, so go check it out. And if you want your bespoke AI ecosystem built out for you, consisting of not only this AI agent, but an entire army of AI agents far more powerful than this, then book a free discovery call down below. 
And finally, if you want a personalized one-on-one -on -one AI consulting session with me for a clear roadmap on how to apply AI into your business and how it can help, book a call down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.